There are a million and a half ways to start a song, and unfortunately, in this video, I can't show you all one million and a half ways to start a song. But what I can do is show you the two best, easiest ways that I always resort to when it's time for me to start a song, whether it's just a song that I want to make or a song that I want to make for somebody else, or if I have creator's block, these are the two ways that always get me going on a song. And I guarantee that if you apply the methods that I'm about to teach you in this video, that you will absolutely be able to start a song with ease. So to get our brains working on our sides, especially in a time when your creator's block and your, or you're just drained of all your creative energy, the best thing you can do is just give yourself something to start with. So what I like to do is get a sound like a guitar or an arpeggiator or some sort of dronal vocal and do something like this. So I'm just gonna take a simple note like this and make a simple pattern. And the key with starting with something like this is to keep it simple. You'll notice there's not any other notes besides this single note all the way across and it's a very simple rhythm. So the way I like to add to something like this is I like to make chords. And the way I like to make chords is I just like to harmonize with what I have here. Now we have a bass line and it harmonizes really well with our little uh, guitar here. We can copy that, copy it again, and put it up seven semitones and we can paste it one more time. Once you have that, you can mute the guitar or you can keep it in because it's a very like pretty instrument. So for your lead instrument here, the instrument that's going to get you started, I would recommend something really vibey, something that sounds nice. If you use just a basic, say, piano note with no reverb on it, uh, it's going to be very dull. You want to introduce some feels in here. Let your brain get creative around it and let it want to start adding stuff to it. And then we can start moving these notes around and see what comes about it. So the second method that I'm going to show you is the method that I use that is my absolute last resort. So if that first method failed me, and the reason that first method would fail me is if I'm just melodically not with it. Nothing's going to force your brain to be melodically amazing all the time, especially if you're worn out, your ears are strained, and your brain is tired. There's nothing on this earth that is going to make you melodically produce. So what I go to instead, I let my brain have fun with beats and rhythm. Like the first method, we're going to give ourselves something to start with because it's much easier to add to something than it is to create something out of thin air. So I'm going to go to splice and search ARP and see what I can come up with here. I just found the coolest sound. So when you're shopping for sounds on Splice or Loop Cloud or Loop Masters, wherever you shop for your sounds, the best thing you can do is just have fun when you're shopping and find something that really lights you up. So me, if I'm in a melodic depletion, I'm just going to look for a melodic loop that I can add drums to. And so I found that loop and it sounds like this. <laughs> Beautiful. What I do is I drop a kick and a snare now. And 
And so once we get our bass and our drums, you get some cool little groove like that. Slap a lead on it, a nice set of chords, and you got a song going. But those are the two ways that I like to start songs. You really can't go wrong with them. You can't mess up uh, anything you add. It's either good or bad. If it's bad, you scrap it and you start over. And if it's good, you got a nice start of a song on your hands. So if you want to learn more about melody making, chord writing, arrangement of a song, sound design, mixing, and mastering, come join me in my EDM boot camp. I left a link for the boot camp at the top of the description of this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.